Hi Aquarius, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. I'm actually just shuffling the cards. I did pull a couple off camera because I keep having disruptions when it comes to readings. If it's not domino, it's a sound or something else or a phone call. Um, and you know, another thing is that I haven't really had the energy or the time to sit down and do readings for you guys. And I'm doing good deep condition, so... This is why my hair is like this. But I don't know. I was getting, I was meditating on you guys' energy and I was getting this like brooding energy, like brewing, brooding, bubbly, not in like a, a beat kind of way, but kind of like, um, you know how you listen to brown noise or you listen to like rain sounds. It could be raining where you are or you could be having like really like windy weather. All right. For others of you guys here, it could just be this vibe as to where silence silence is a virtue meditation is supposed to be helping you or you may be meditating on a lot pondering on a lot here or some of you guys could definitely be sitting in silence i do have the seven chakra right now so a lot of you guys you could definitely be feeling as if you are over easy anxious uh you know having a lot of overthinking your thoughts okay um or you may be looking for like the truth regarding situations um i do see that you guys definitely need to make sure that every single day you take a time out to really think uh, be calm, cool, and collected, or kind of just like, um, I wouldn't even say rejuvenate yourself. I would just like, you know, spend time recalibrating your mind, okay? Um, and this is the seventh chakra, so I feel like what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and touch on everything. I do have a couple cards here, and then I was pulled to use the Oracle of the Mermaids. I feel like I haven't used that in so long, but I don't know. I was just getting, I was getting that vibe. And then I'm also hearing that song, Hold On by the Internet, okay? Like, that, that's kind of what I'm getting, okay? And the crazy part is I haven't used this deck in I don't know how long. The energy is a little wonky, I see. Um, you know. But I have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Heavy air sign energy. Heavy uh, water sign energy. For some of you guys here, it could be situations as to where, um, you know, you could be trying to pour into multiple situations, multiple people, multiple environments, or, or things of that nature. And I feel like Five of Swords, you could think that you're going to be in the lead, or you're trying to be in the lead, or you're trying to be proactive. But I feel like for some of you guys, you could be overdoing it. You could be betraying yourself, or you could have people betraying you, trying to sabotage you. I do see for some of you guys here, there are a couple karmic cycles that either you already know about here or setups that are evident um some of you guys here you are into spiritual union or dealing with people who are of your soul tribe your soul your soul family soul mates for some of you guys here and others of you guys it could be simple contracts but hold on i don't know and also i feel like i'm going to start tiling my videos different a little bit depending on what they're going to be about um but i feel like hold on Hold on. You know, you could also be seeing 777 444 555, a lot of two energy. Um, but at the bottom of the deck here, we have homeland. So it says arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, and settled. So I feel like what's going on at this current time being here, some of you guys may feel as if, yeah, the air, heavy air energy. So this is you guys' energy. It says breathing deep, entering excuse me entering to, into life exchanging life bringing energies so i feel like this is going on for some of you guys it could be like a dark and light as above so as above so below or some type of dual mechanism some type of dual energy or like some type of dichotomous thinking i feel like what's going on when it comes to your spiritual team aquarius they want you to you know take everything for what it is like i feel like i'm just taking a deep breath okay i don't know the energy is kind of heavy this isn't a reading i normally do this isn't a reading i you know normally i come in i know exactly what i'm saying i know exactly what the reading is about but i feel like this is one of those readings where also let me know if you guys like these more it's just like a check-in i really haven't done one of these in like forever um this is like one of those where your sport team wants you to you know remember that everything is a part of the journey you are a part of the journey they're a part of the journey the situation is a part of the journey or there's so many different parts Moving parts, still parts, and things going on in your life or in the journey or when it comes to your life path. For some of you guys, homeland. When it says arrival, you could definitely be at this point where, you know, you're going to get to your destination safely. This is going to happen the right way or, you know, you will get established. You know, there might be something ending, but there is something beginning or something has to end. So something, can, you know, be created or, you know, this has to happen so something else new can come in. A lot of you guys may feel... um feel or be in this energy where you feel like you have settled you have established yourself or you have took a lot of time space energy to build you know connections um to build opportunities to build possessions to build up your anger to build your home to build your stability to build your mind body and soul 
to build connections, you know, literally to build your boat. Okay, Moana could be your significance to sail to Tefiti. Okay, you will get on my boat. Okay, and we will restore the heart together. For some of you guys, you may feel as if you have built yourself up to, you know, be ahead of the game. This could be something that you're trying to do. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may just want to meditate on everything or listen to brown noise. Maybe get into by Oreo Beats. I hope I'm saying it right, by Oreo Beats. Um, if you are familiar with sub subliminals and you listen to those, you can definitely listen to those i like subliminals um it just depends on what i'm using them for and then for other you guys here i feel like you could be trying to build 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 but there's certain you know ties and understandings and people and jobs and places and scenarios that need to be cut off um that you may feel like you're doing yourself uh injustice or that people are trying to do you an injustice well as you guys here it could just simply be people here trying to sabotage you trying to hold on to you trying to hold you back cause chaos and conflict for you simply because they can't handle their own um issues their own demons their own things going on right now but i feel like a lot of you guys could be in this energy like that song working day and night okay with michael jackson like <sighs> you know how the, he says that in the song so that could be a significance you could just be like on some working day and night type shit or feel like you're not making time for yourself but your spirit of the team wants you to make time for you know yourself make time to get ahead make sure you're keeping up with your priorities but more importantly i feel like don't put too much stress or too much trust or too much emphasis on things at this current time being here Hey girl. Cause I feel like right now we have the adrift card. It says letting go, allowing the higher force, all right, to take charge for some time. So I feel like this is what's supposed to be happening here. A lot of you guys, like I said, you're gonna have karmic changes. You're gonna have regular changes, and then you're gonna have karmic changes that are supposed to be occurring. But like just how you breathe in and breathe out. You know, you can't stop yourself from breathing or you're going to die. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, you know, just keep on going. And for some of you guys, you may feel like you don't have the strength to keep going because we do have this card here. Um, you know, I've definitely been there myself. Um, for other you guys here, there could definitely be a feminine ancestor or a spirit guide here. Or you could definitely work with like Yemaya, Oshun, Oya, different Loa or Arisha you can definitely work with. And I feel like more importantly, um, yeah, you're about to reach rapid development rapid success rapid growth and it's so funny i was literally just watching atlantis today with my boyfriend um so that is actually very funny to me and there's the atlantis card but yeah fertility i just feel like more importantly you guys have a lot of powerful energy you guys are being initiated you're being prepared you have a lot of potential there's a lot of potential in people places and situations around you but i feel like more importantly at this current time being all you should be doing is taking a deep breath take a deep breath and some of y'all could be like, fuck a breath. No, take a deep breath. <laughs> take a deep breath, okay? Because, you know, some of you guys, you could be feeling as if your journey is so long, your journey is so hard. You feel like you're crossing into deep waters or uncharted territory or things or places you're not familiar with. Or for some of you guys, things may feel familiar, but at the same time, it's like, it's still um, new. It's still different, okay? Um, Odysseus could be a significance but i feel like for some of you guys here um also that song i'm on my way home a like Kanye west could be a significance but i feel like yeah you guys need to make sure you're taking a deep breath okay this is your sign to take a deep breath and take a time out um and if and if you don't have time to take a time out there is going to be time made on your journey to take a time out and i'm saying this to say this because some of you guys there may be things that happen karma changes that happen because you refuse to take a deep breath you refuse to meditate you refuse to be aware you you uh for some of you guys you could even be confused or you're causing confusing around you or like yeah it's just some type of confusing agent all right for other you guys here like i said you're refusing to, to remain in solitude you're refusing to be alone or you're refusing to contemplate your next move or you know more importantly um or this could even be like a drift letting you know surrendering to the universe surrendering to the changes or like surrendering to your spiritual team here like you know there's a difference between freedom and the difference between you know trying to i wouldn't say you know everybody has their own free will i wouldn't say manipulate your own free will but i would say get in the way of divine interventions of fertility of karma of your masculine energy or trying to be in an overly masculine energy whether you're a man or a female all right and um this could even be like rejecting people places and things or um you know in this energy as to where you're not giving yourself the privacy you need you're not giving yourself the space for respecting your boundaries and taboos or you're not implementing that sanctuary vibe or having the chance to so i feel like for a lot of you guys here you're about to be given a, a, a breath of fresh air or like this is what your spiritual team is going to do 
All right, um, so let's go ahead and see some themes here. I'm going to go through the crystal deck. This reading is not going to be long at all. I did just want to check in. I, I really didn't know what was going on. But it was like, just do this and then we'll get into everything else. So for some of you guys here, you may need to work with the crystal hematite. I know I normally have it. I use it like once a month or like when I'm going through shit. But yeah, the number 19, it talks about mental strength, clarity, you know, it gets you grounded. It helps you uh, also be free of mental manipulation, all right, confusion, negative stimuli here, or it helps you, you know, get on the right path. The next card we have is pre and night. It's the number 33. Some of you guys can be seeing a 333. This is your sign to make sure that you are releasing, all right, uh, standards or beliefs, or more importantly, releasing the need to not surrender, to be in your masculine energy, to do all these things um to overcompensate to try to pull every which way to try to pour into everything and everybody or trying to go against divine timing or or whatever it is for some of you guys you may feel like you want to go away and hide because domino just went underneath my bed um but yeah abundance and creativity for some of you guys i feel like your abundance and your creativity your money your feminine energy that's a solar plexus thing that's the feminine energy and i feel like for some of you guys your spiritual team is like either yeah, Eight of Wands, you're going to be contacting you soon or sending some type of sign here. You could be asking for one, but they're like, look, either you make time here, okay, with the Eight of Wands and the Strength card, either you make time here to kind of give yourself a break, to handle your own, um, you know, not to just continuously fight your demons or continuously be in, like, turmoil, chaos, conflict, you know, going through it or continuously working, continuously trying to be seen or victorious or on the scene or, you know, uh, popping out or how do you say, uh, what they be saying, relevant, I guess, not relevant, but, um, in the mix boom or you know always hanging out with people sacrificing your time your energy here or to your own detriment like you know some of you guys you may be canceling invitations you may be not hanging out with friends you may be feeling like you're a debbie downer okay you may be feeling this energy where everything is upside down and everything will be turning upside down until you guys take a breath eight of cups with the will of fortune here and get back on you know kilter okay or more importantly let the universe kind of do your thing you know how with wheels they just do their thing and they just keep going and going and going and going but you try to go against the wheel it's like you know what i'm saying like eight of swords i feel like for some of you guys your king of pentacles you could be definitely thinking about money finance and security all right but as you guys you could definitely be mourning over the past okay or you could be in this energy where you're looking back to the past how things used to be friendships families relationships lovers uh how things literally used to be like memories here okay and I feel like you could be crying over spilled milk or what shit was or feeling like all is lost. You can't salvage it. You can't pick it up. You can't replay it. You can't redo it or you won't get that chance again. You won't see that person again. You won't talk to them again. But as you guys here, Page of Pentacles, I feel like what's going on as well is that you're supposed to be mastering some type of spiritual lesson. All right, passing some type of sort of test. But I feel like you're missing the key point or you keep fucking failing at this one point And it's just like, God damn. And then for others of you guys here, it could just be a scenario as to where three pinnacles and a judgment card as to where a judgment is being called. Like at this current time being, you shouldn't be collaborating with anybody. You shouldn't be partnering up with anybody unless it's, it was, it's, <laughs> can't even talk, can't even talk. Like I said, you shouldn't be partnering up. And with the three of pinnacles, this is regarding the community. This is regarding like acquaintances, friends co-workers people who are like you don't really have close like knit connections to these are like randos or randoms or you know whatever it is somebody can receive eight um like some type of smoothie or green drink or you may want to like detox or incorporate that in but i feel like you know until you got like these are the these are the the, the the issues that some of you guys could be experiencing or these are the signs or synchronicities or whatever it is it may resonate you for you it may not resonate for you but I feel like for some of you guys, judgment also could even be being called on a friend group or who you're friends with or who you are dealing with here or who you associate yourself with or your likeness or your image is associated with, okay? That could also be significance here. Um, I feel like, yeah, you're needing to take a deep breath. You're needing to clear things out. You're needing to get your mind right, to get mental, okay? To to cleanse your crown chakra. And it's so funny, I'm, I'm like washing my hair. I'm doing all that stuff. You know, your crown is the top of your head, okay? That's why a lot of people wear hats. People wear hoods, people wear like jackets and shit like that. But I feel like you're needing to meditate. You're needing silence. You're needing to, for some of you guys, it may even go as far as to go into hermit mode. You're needing to just come full circle with yourself. 
that makes sense. You need to take a deep breath. And I feel like every every time or every moment you waste where you're not taking deep breath, you're not meditating, you're not taking silence, or you're not sitting still, you're not resting, you're not uh, looking for tranquility, you know, looking for sanctuary, um, or you know, surrendering to their to a higher source, to higher power, surrendering to everything that's going on in your journey, or like surrendering in a way to where you're like peace is most important of all. Peace over money, peace over fame, peace over friends, peace over this, peace over that piece of the piece among worlds fuck you talking about like you know somebody keep watching rick and, rick and morty okay um but it says miraculous emotional mental and physical healings are available when i am open to receive so i feel like that could be something you need to rejuvenate your spirit you, rejuvenation is key yeah domino what did i just say to you you're not getting out of here well some of you guys you're even trying to run away from doing this here or trying to avoid it you feel like you got too much on your plate i'm also hearing kanye west say um did you say something Ha ha, you can't tell me nothing. So for some of you guys, it's where you can feel like you're hard-headed or you're not understanding what's going on or you're just wanting to do what the fuck you want to do. And I feel like Knight of Pentacles, for some of you guys here, there could even be a situation as to where you may be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female in any type of way, friend, family, level, whatever. Um, you know, I feel like Knight of Pentacles, um, this person may be visiting you or coming to see you or somehow this person could be of significance. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Gemini, Seven of, seven of Wands when it comes to getting things done getting things busy or if you have these pictures in your chart you may definitely want to look at them you know we are in mercury retrograde right now so things are a little wonky you know communication you know stress chaos all type of shit is going on but i feel like ace of cups six of swords eat the cake anime eat the cake anime that's what your ancestors are saying king of cups queen of cups so you can be like balanced in your masculine your feminine energy or more importantly so you won't give all queen of pentacles and king of wands like you know what i'm saying yeah it's unbalanced it's unbalanced yeah because i feel like what's going on here what else do your sports team want to say or what do they want to say to the collective anything else to point out yeah because i feel like for some of you guys here until you do this you will have financial and material changes and for some of you guys this will be negative okay for some of you guys it will be positive but it won't be in the certain degree that you could be looking for or the time period or the aspect okay Let's see what else is going on. For some of you guys, here's the crown chakra. Yet again, you will continue to be trapped in fear, understanding, and spiritual jail, physical jail, or feeling as if you are a victim of your circumstances here, or feeling victimized, okay, or, you know, overthinking. For others of you guys here, your heart chakra is going to take a blow. And, you know, when your heart chakra is closed off, you're not able to um, receive what you need or really what you want or what you deserve because, you know, you, you you close it up. A lot of things don't work because your heart chakra is closed. And when your heart chakra is closed, you're... Solar plexus doesn't work. When your solar plexus doesn't work, your abundance and creativity, you know, they go out the window. And, and these are both the heart and the solar plexus. They go hand in hand. The heart, the root, and the solar plexus. So those are, are key points for you guys here. Because I feel like what's going on, you could be um, disruptive energetically right now. Or people could be disrupting your energy or everything just like getting on your nerves. You could be like tick, 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 boom, okay? For some of you guys, four cups, you could just be sad. I'm also hearing that song, Lonely by Tyler, the creator. I can't even lie, I've been lonely as fuck. I can't even lie, I've been lonely, 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 lonely. And it goes like that. That could be a significance. For some of you guys here, I do see that you could also be feeling as if you're having to make certain certain sacrifices. Okay, or you're wanting to make certain sacrifices. And if us, you guys, I feel like you could be taking a hit when it comes to like your partnerships, your alliances, you know, your close-knit connections and things of that nature. Yeah. So that's this is kind of like what this is about. I want to go ahead and pull this these cards up. I don't even know what I'm going to name this. Um, I'm gonna pick and choose and see, but yeah, this is what's going on. And I feel like for some of you guys here, there may be sacrifices you don't want to make that you may have to make here, or you know, you may feel like you're crazy making these sacrifices, or like. You could be like, damn, I know this is not a good move, but I'm going to do it anyways. And then somehow it works out beautifully for you. Or, you know, it's like once you jump off, like, the deep end, it's kind of like, fuck it. Like, like that, like people, somebody made like Rod Wave. I don't know if y'all been seeing his concerts lately, but this man, every in every single fucking, in every single fucking concert, he always be falling off the balcony. And I'm like, why is he, why is he doing that shit? Like, that is so obnoxious. But I guess it's for like suicide awareness, I guess, you know um but yeah i feel like that's what's going on that's exactly what's going on 
Yeah, because I feel like with some of you guys, they're going to be even be like devilish people. You know, they're holding you back or things that you're doing, bad habits or things that you that are like holding you back here when you should be like, you know, planting seeds. Okay, it's even be like people you're celebrating with, people you're friends with, who you're going out with, or who the company that you're keeping. All right, and also today I was telling that album by Drake is called If You're Reading This, It's Too Late. All right, and there's a specific song on there, Now and Forever. Um, the song Legend, those two songs are very specific. All right. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like you need to be selfless, but not when it comes to other people. I feel like when it comes to you, you know, you could be very selfless or you could always be trying to be patient with other people. But I feel like it's time for you to be patient for yourself. It says this is the time for reflection, persistence and surrender as things unfold at their own pace. I remain calm and tolerant during any, cha during any challenging times. I develop a quiet hope and expectation based on the trust of both myself and higher power. I observe... As I observe in nature, growth takes time, okay? Everything I do, I do from a spiritual perspective, and I put my heart into all that I do. I develop an attitude of looking for ways to help others instead of always wait, waiting to be asked. So I feel like what's going on, if people are offering you help, fucking take the help. Because I know I'm an Aquarius. I fucking hate when people try to fucking help me. I, I, I can't stand that shit. And, like, I will only accept the help if I know I fucking need it. And even then, I really don't want to accept it, you know? Um, so I feel like, you know, it says, I'm kind to all. I'm aware that everything I do or say affects others. So I feel like you need to turn that inward. All right? Because we have a crown shock. We're here twice. Or you need to meditate on the shit that you do as well, too, for other people. Or the, the small things that you are of service to other people of. And why aren't you doing that for yourself? Or how can you uh, surrender and just uh, focus? Focus on yourself. I'm actually going to go ahead and get um, a charm for you guys. I want to get one charm and I'm going to pull some index cards. We have the number 95. This is like a coffee. Some of you guys could be drinking like coffee. You could be drinking teas. You could be making a hot toddy. You could be under the weather or you could just be hearing some gossip about yourself or gossip about somebody else. All right. But it says wake up and smell the coffee and it says take a break. All right. So for some of you guys, you need to be taking a break. I don't give a fuck what you got to do. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You may be feeling like, I don't have time to take a break. These bills got to get paid. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. Da -da 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 -da. If you don't have time, your sports team is going to make time. So that is what the fuck it is. We also have 130 and it says someone is not approachable. So at this current time being, you may not be giving off the, the more, the most approachable vibe okay or open vibe or friendly vibe here or um you could definitely be having your guard up or like be aware of people who are having their guard up okay at this current time being here whenever you need to take a break or whenever it's about you or whenever you're going through something pay attention to people who need who feel as if you don't need to take a break or you need to keep working 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 or doing 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 or giving 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 you know what i'm saying pay attention to that shit now, for some of you guys here, we do have the cards. You could be playing cards, you could be playing dice here, or, you know, this could be a quick way for you to run up some quick change. It says you have all the tools in your toolbox and everything is playing out strategically. So, I feel like, like I said, divine timing is at, you know, at bay right now. Then we have 139. For some of you guys, you could be wanting to have domestic bliss or you need to um, work on achieving that. For some of you guys, you need to work on um, lightening your heart, lightening your mood, getting more love in your life, more light in your home, you know, opening the blinds or, you know, bringing more light hearted energy into your life. This could even be as well as, you know, listening to certain music or doing certain things, you know, or doing what makes you happy or being around people who really make you happy. I don't know I'm hearing that song. If it makes you happy yeah it can't be that bad like it goes like that it goes like that yeah it goes like that all right so i'm gonna let him pull some index cards i just want to pull two out of here to see anything you need to know when it comes to you guys taking a break all right so for some of you guys here you um for some of you guys um when i said that if you don't take a break there's going to be a situation to where you're going to have to take a break for some of you guys, if you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing here, and it could be something as minuscule or it's not that deep, you will get caught in the act and you will be having to take a break or have some type of consequence of some type of sort. And then for some of you guys, I'm also picking up this could be a situation as to where you catch somebody in the act and you don't want to be their friend no more. You don't want to be their girlfriend, their boyfriend, their husband, their wife anymore or like... You may end up catching somebody in the act of doing something. This could even be like actively uh, trying to set you up or like trying to steal from you as well too. And, and that's going to make you want to take a break as well too. Okay. Let's move forward. For some of you guys here, um, I can't even read this. Yeah. For some of you guys here, when it comes to taking a break, 
Um, you may be thinking like, what if I forget how to be normal? What if I have social anxiety? What if I forget how to be cool? Or, you know, I'm out the loop or literally I forget how to connect with people or other people. Um, I feel like that's not going to happen. And if that does happen, that means you're just not in alignment with those people anymore. Or, you know, you may want to take a break, but you feel like if I stop or like, you know, Mitch from paid in full, he's like, but if I, when he say, but if I lead a game, my fans, they still going to love me, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love the game. I love the hustle. For some of you guys, it could be something like that, okay? And, you know, hey. All right, let's move forward. For some of you guys here, when it comes to you taking a break, if you don't want to take a break, there is going to be a situation where you're going to have to take a break because it's just a team effort on it. So, that could be like a team or a group of people who intentionally want you to like sit down. I'm getting four source energy. Sit down, be humble, all right? Give you like um unpaid leave or, you know, something of the sort to where it's like a group of people um, in on this shit. So, it's like if you don't want to take a break, it's going to be a divine intervention in some type of way. This could be positive or negative or something's going to happen where a team of people are in on something here and you're forced to take a break. You're forced to stop doing something. You're forced to be paused or... You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's go ahead and pull another one. Um, the next one it says, yeah. For some of you guys here, um, you may now this is a good one. For some of you guys here, you could literally be being forced to take a break because your divine masculine, your soulmate, or your divine feminine is they're trying to um come to excuse me, they're trying to come towards you, but either you're blocking this person. And it's time. Like, you may feel like it's not time. It's the bad timing, whatever you want to call it. And this person is trying to come towards you. And I feel like the reason why you could be being forced to take a break, because I feel like without you taking that break, you're going to block this person out or you're going to lose out on this person or something of the sort is going to happen or it's going to not happen and there's going to be some type of intermission. Okay. Mm-hmm. I would never buy this fucking water again. That shit is so fucking nasty. Deer Park water nasty as shit. Like, I got the water cold. I got the water room temperature. And it's just fucking nasty. Like, I thought I was tripping. But, like, no, that shit really nasty. Let's move forward here. Um, So, when it comes to you guys having to take a break and exhale. All right. What, Domino? Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys here, if you don't want to take a break, you're going to have to take a break. Because you're going to realize that somebody's hiding a really big betrayal. Like, somebody really has, like betrayed you was talking shit did some like really overkill over whoop if you're seeing this talking about you uh over whooping type of shit and i feel like what's going on is that if you're not going to take a break that is going to force you to take a break that's going to force you to take a break this could be like a break to where you shut everybody out you don't want to deal with nobody you go into a depressive state you go into hermit mode you know you get divorced you break up you're not their friend anymore. Um, you lose that job. You know, um, car gets repoed. You lose your fucking wallet or your ID or, you know, something of the sort. You find out somebody got somebody else pregnant. The list goes on, okay? Um, but, yeah, like I said, when it comes to you guys taking breaks, I feel like also... But some of you guys here, you may need to take a break because I feel like you could be walking on eggshells. So there could be like an environment or person or people or environments, okay, that you are in. And I feel like when you're around these people, you feel like you're walking on eggshells. You can't be yourself. You can't say what you want to say. You can't do what you want to do. Or for some of you guys, if you like smoke weed or you do psychedelics and shit like that, like, it's like as soon as you're under the influence, they look mad, ugly, mad, crazy, or like the energy is just off. All right. And then for us, you guys here, you could be like walking on eggshells like, you know, you don't want to say this or you feel like your input doesn't matter or you feel silenced or there's issues with your throat chakra. And it's going to be like environments where you feel uncomfortable. You can't be yourself. You can't get comfortable. You can't focus. You can't work. OK. Or more importantly, you can't like settle down. You're always in a fight or flight mode. OK. All right, for all of you guys here, the reason why you're being called to take a break because you be, you're going through another spiritual awakening. For some of you guys, it could be a first spiritual awakening. For all of you guys, this is a spiritual awakening as to where, you know, this could be like a, a, another one. Or you could be a part of the shift, okay? This is why you're being forced to take a break. And then for some of you guys here, you could be psychic or, you know, um, your spiritual gifts are increasing. You're getting new ones. Or like I said, your intuition is at an all-time high, okay? And, you know, sometimes when that happens to me, I literally have to take a break. If I don't take a fucking break or if I try to do too many things at one time, poof, like, you know what I'm saying? But any advice for the Aquarius Collective? Um, yeah, the month of November could be a significance or the song by Ty the Creator, November. Tell me about the November. Like, that could be a significance. I'm on cool. 
another one. Advice. It says, don't go chasing waterfalls. Left eye. So stick with your use. Stick to what you're used to. Or stick to what's been working for you, or where you've been at, or what you've been doing. This is not the time to be switching up things or doing new shit. I mean, we're already in retrograde. My God. But even before then, you know what I'm saying. This is not time to be trying to implement new plans and do this and all this crazy new ass shit and all that. It's not time for that. All right. Let's get one last card. And then I have for some of you guys, you are depressed. You're depressed and it's 100% normal. And if you are depressed, sometimes you got to feel it. I mean, if you're still really depressed and you want to get help, cool. But, you know, look of look at ways to get you out of that hole, to get you out of that feeling, to get you out of that, you know, vibe. I don't know I'm hearing that song and it was like out of my fucking mind, out of my fucking mind. I'm hearing that as well too. Um, and then for some of you guys, let's go ahead and get some advice from this bag. Anything else we need to know? Oh, this is actually a blank card. I'm trying to put it in this blank card. All right, for others of you guys here, um, a Capricorn could be of significance in some type of way. This could be like Capricorn season, things will get better. So this is like January or Capricorn and, and like... Um, well, I know Capricorn is in December as well. But yeah, there could be a Capricorn who you may want to reach out to you or a Capricorn is somehow significant. Maybe you know this person, maybe Capricorn season or like Capricorn, wherever your placement is in your chart, you may want to go ahead and look that up. All right. Advice. We also have, yeah, for some of you guys here, there could be somebody here. <laughs> okay. Now, this is crazy. For some of you guys here. I'm not one of them readers who are all love and light. I'm going to tell you that now. But for some of you guys here, you may want to go pursue some illegal theft. Okay. And I'm not the one who will be trying to like push narratives or push negative shit. But I feel like for some of you guys, it's all about the circumstance. Me personally, I just feel like when it comes to people doing shit, it's all about the circumstance. Like illegal theft could be like, oh, I'm going to steal some fucking pampers from my baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as you guys here, oh, or the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, either this is you doing this here or this is going on around you. Or somebody's attempting to do this around you, okay? Let's see what other advice we have. Yeah, eat it on their knees. Killed you in the past life and is trying to again. So for some of you guys, there could be somebody here who's coming around in your past life. This person wants to eat it on their knees. Okay, they're an eater. Okay, this person could be like super thirsty for you, but this person killed you in the past life. This could be why they have this obsession with you here. And when I say obsession, I'm getting like, this could even be a Capricorn. But no, when I say obsession, I'm getting like anything. Like, it's giving like you're the dominatrix or you're the dominant, they're the sub. All right, last one. For some of you guys here, you will have a missed opportunity. Um, for some of you guys, you will have a missed opportunity or um, you will end up missing opportunity. But it's all about quality over quantity here. And this could be a big thing, quality over quantity, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, people, places, environments, things, items, etc. And then I feel like for some of you guys here, there is somebody here around you who is driven by the 3D or you shouldn't be driven by the 3D. When I say 3D, you know, pussy, money, weed is all a nigga need, okay? And the last but not least, I feel like for some of you guys here, you could be really overcome with emotion, but you need to make sure that you are feeling your emotions or feeling how you feel. Yeah, I feel like also you could have people who are bothered as fuck or if something is bothering you, you need to talk about it. Um, but what I do see is that you are a crowd slash fan favorite here and somebody could just simply be bothered by that even on your worst days you still you know do your big one i'm getting a cold but anyways this was the reading all right i really hope you guys did love it let me know if you guys like ones like this but i will see you all later